Another one. Another one. We the best music. DJ Khaled. Today is the day, everyone. Today is the day. I've been fucking waiting for this album so much. Finally, it dropped. <laughs> Finally. So, uh, I have basically, I took a shower, you know, I took a shower for this, just like straight up. Came from the uh, bathroom. Also, now I'm wearing very comfortable pants so I can jump around and dance around whenever the fire track will come uh, from the track list. And overall, I was blessed up before I will do this re review video. Uh, so I'm prepared, I'm really prepared for this video. I'm really prepared to give my first reaction and first thoughts and give basically my review to this album. And you know, like DJ Khaled himself, grateful. It should be pretty amazing to listen. Uh, considering the fact that the featurings are fire, like <laughs> there are tons of great features. So let's just go ahead and listen to this one. DJ Khaled, grateful. First reaction, let's go. All right, there's gonna be <laughs> 23 tracks and uh, so that's why I got very comfortable as I told you with my pants. Uh, <laughs> so it should be incredible. Track one, by the way, intro, I'm so grateful, featuring Sizzla. Oh, I think I've heard first time someone saying DJ Khaled, why not DJ Khaled in the track? This is the dude though, yeah. African great wives. <laughs> yeah, the song is like giving you the message of being grateful and it's like musically uh, it makes you feel like Gives you this kind of uh, vibes. Hey. 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 It's pretty, uh, very interesting listen. And the like, the fact that Shining is the next track to this intro is so dope. Like, very great transition because like, it makes perfect sense by the theme. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 this. Well, I have I have heard this song and I have actually heard all the singles which was released by DJ Khaled to uh, prior to the release of the album. Uh, so from track two to track five, which is gonna like listen a little bit uh, still because I wanna you know like just get the like the whole experience of the album. Uh, I love the all of the tracks which was released. So check out my first reactions by the way. I will uh, give you the links um, to the uh, in the the description box down below, and also you can uh, find them in my channel. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna like. Uh, still listen to uh, them a little bit uh, and um, I can't refuse to dance you know like <laughs> for Shining I will dance to Shining because I love this song I love this song The max actually in my first listen I wasn't that uh, into it I was a little bit disappointed but then it grew on me now I like it a lot I told me I don't keep it white and black only say I love you just so I can hear it sometimes all the times I love to hate back can't think of a night that we ain't turn up to the max that we live Track 4, Wild Thoughts, featuring Rihanna and my boy Bryson Taylor. <laughs> I don't know if you could take it. Oh. No, you wanna see me naked, naked, naked. Hey. Oh, sexy track, sexy, amazing. I love this track. Rihanna is awesome. Come on. Track 5, final one. 
get out the truth, I'm on I'm the one, yeah. I'm the one, early morning, I'm right now. I'm the one, yeah. I'm the one, yeah. Alright, now, finally, we're ready to witness new tracks. Track 6. On. What? <laughs> Come on, Apple, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop moving, please. Track 6 on everything featuring Travis Scott, Rick Ross, oh, and Big Sean. Cool, awesome, let's go. Travis, come on, Big Sean, come on. Rick Ross, come on, <laughs> give me something. I just so love the fact that there are tons of features and a lot of great artists that I want to listen to. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's been so long that I've been listening to Rick Ross, it's just like crazy to hear him on the track. Travis sounds different on this one, kind of. Oh. Big Sean came unexpectedly. Big Sean have been obsessed with the like pistols effects lately. I have heard it in this one as well. I like the track. It was good. It was really good. Like the um, like the beat itself was very energetic and it was quite awesome to like dance to it. And also uh, Rick Ross was like actually very good. Uh, you know, like some, he, in my opinion, though, like Rick Ross stopped being that relevant anymore in the rap game. But uh, you know, like um, it's still good to have him on the tracks. And also, Big Sean did his thing; he was good. Uh, only my concern with uh, Travis Scott because I, it was kind of weird to hear him with like that um, very high pitch auto tune. Like he sounded very differently, and uh, I, I'm not saying that. If it's different it's bad I'm just saying like this time it kind of like it did like I, I see what it, he was trying to do in the track like uh, to feed the beat actually he like raised his voice and like the basically the auto tune speech as well uh, to match the beat and to match the song and uh, it's 50 50 like sometimes it works sometimes it's kind of didn't when it was like wow like it was kind of too much in my opinion <laughs> uh, to, hear, to listen to uh, it was kind of a little bit awkward but the track itself is really great and uh, <coughs> excuse me I'm not hating on Travis because I really love him it's just my opinion like on Travis and the track but other than that track is good uh, track 7 it's secure featuring Nas and Travis Scott once again. We're gonna get a lot of Travis Scott over here, and which is awesome. I really like this fact. I have seen that um, these guys were working on this track like in Instagram, and I was really excited to listen to this one because like Nas, you know, like Illmatic, uh, and also uh, other good songs, you know, like I've, I've heard from him. Uh, Nas is a very good figure in rap. And also we got uh, Hyper Travis Scott, which I love. And they coming up together, it's, it's gonna be really interesting. Listen to me, I'm very curious what's gonna happen. Let's go. Track sound is secure. Oh, I love it already. <laughs> I love it, like, listen to this beat. Wow. This is so dope. This beat is so sick. It reminds me of like great classic hip hop songs. Travis, my god. Ah, 
Ha! He said his name in a Palestinian way. Yeah, that's right. Khalid. Yeah, he said it like in Arabic way, like Khalid, like actually, like as like his original name, right? Like as it should have spelled. What am I saying? I'm not even like native speaker of English. That's why my uh, English is so fucked up. I'm sorry about that. But what I'm trying to say is basically you got it already. But uh, I'm just saying what <laughs> Khalid. It's just an uh, Americanized way, like the K, Khaled. He's saying instead of Khaled, he say Khaled, because there is no letter as H in uh, English. That's why, and uh, I'm glad that he brought it up, kind of Khaled. And then, that's right, Khaled. It was cool, and the track is, was amazing. It was dope as fuck. I love this one. Because like Nas was very passionate and confident in his lyrics, his delivery. Travis Scott, my God, at his best. Like, uh, like you know, uh, the last tracks. You know, as I told you, I didn't really like his performance on that one. But this one, my God, like this is amazing. This is incredible. You know, like this is Travis Scott I used to get all the time, and so I love him. That's why. <laughs> I also love the reference, by the way by Nas at the beginning of the track when he said uh, I, I know what I have said in Nas album done but we gotta do another one too you know like it was just cool track 8 Betty Wright interlude hallelujah Mm -hmm. Khaled does a great job in like implementing his beliefs, you know, like he always says like God is great and that we should also like bless up, you know, be grateful and he does a great implementation of that. Track 9, Nobody featuring Alicia Keys and Nicki Minaj. Well, Nicki Minaj, I like her as well, but Alicia Keys, listening to Alicia Keys over here is just so incredible. I love her. Ooh. Turn this up immediately. Uh, she's, so, she's so beautiful and I like her voice is incredible. Love that track, incredible. Uh, when Alicia Keys hops on on the track, well, for me, it's immediately like a fire, you know, like I can't like resist it. Like, <laughs> I just love her as a performer, and she does a great job like singing, and uh, it's always very uh, like great to hear her on tracks, on songs, and I really loved her last album as well. Uh, here, really enjoyed that album. All right, <laughs> track 11. Don't quit, DJ Khaled, and Calvin Harris on one track. <laughs> hey, yo, like the Calvin Harris though, like, my God, he is he is just wonderful. Like, mwah. I'm running out of adjectives already. <laughs> like, I only I only know like incredible, amazing, wonderful. Mm. I don't know <laughs> what else. <laughs> anyway, like he's one of my favorite DJs. I'm really uh, interested, really intriguing what's gonna happen on this track as well. Uh, Don't quit featuring Travis Scott, my boy, once again, and Jeremiah. Let's go. I like it. I like it. I already hearing Kelly Harris implementations on the track. So basically, J. Khaled made sure that we will have also a summer banger of this uh, in this album. Although we already have I'm the one and Bad Fox. Tracks. Yeah! <laughs> Love his saying so much. It's lit, straight up. Yeah, like. 
10 out of 10. <laughs> Yo, I just realized something. Uh, I think I skipped track 10. <laughs> My bad, excuse me. Uh, I love you so much. Featuring Chance the Rapper. I really... I, re <laughs> so, I really actually wanted to listen... Uh, I'm saying to every track pretty much uh, that I really wanted to listen this one this one so far but because like you know like all these featurings that have been listed in here like I'm very interested with uh, what they're gonna deliver in this project because you know like most of these people I, I really love and uh, you know like I listen to them and uh, you know like their music is uh, really great to me and um, so I'm very excited every time, like when the tra track comes in, comes in, like track by track, uh, what's gonna happen to this or to that artist, uh, what's gonna be on the track, what's the delivery. And so um, Chance the Rapper is one of my, has became one of my favorites pretty quickly. And so like, you know, I still, I mean, I have his head and uh, it's lit. <laughs> so. Uh, really wanted to listen to uh, this track uh, to my man, so um, we're just gonna head and uh, listen to this one. Uh, I'm really um, surprised how could I actually like didn't notice this track and skip it, but um, yeah, so track 10 I love you so much featuring Chance the Rapper. Let's go, okay, definitely another happy tune by Chance the Rapper. You, my son. Uh, this track is more about Asad, uh, Khaled addressing Asad and telling him that uh, he loves him so much and Chance the Rapper just helps him to create this adventurous and celebration type of uh, feel on this track. Ah, the ending though. Hey. 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 It's just really... Uh, wonderful and beautiful to hear that from uh, Khaled. It really doesn't matter like uh, what do you feel about DJ Khaled and do you like him or do you hate him but a lot of people can relate to it like um, people who are parents especially like um, you know like children are important in their lives and uh, it's just like it's really like feels like biggest blessing although I have never been a dad uh, yet but still like I could I can feel it, you know, like what the parent is feeling when the child is uh, born and uh, generally to have kids uh, is just like so cool. I have been a kid just recently, I'm 19, uh, but I'm just saying like I imagine uh, what what people feel like and so it's really relatable to, uh, to a lot of people and uh, you can't hate on that. I, in my opinion, um, what uh, DJ Khaled did on here and uh, addressing to his son that he loves him so much and uh, he, he's gonna be there forever. And uh, I said Khaled already <laughs> became a legend uh, at one year old, everybody. <laughs> it's just like crazy. But uh, yeah, I like that Khaled brought Chance the Rapper on the track definitely like he made the vibe like very like celebrative and stuff like that very happy uh, tune uh, as Chance knows you know like brought positive vibes and uh, it worked out well uh, although I actually uh, um, wanted like when I saw the track like featuring Chance the Rapper I'm, I thought that Chance He's gonna deliver us something cool like in his style and even though this was his style but like it was just like a more a message to Assad but I wanted like chance to give us like great track you know like as uh, most of the tracks from uh, acid rap and uh, coloring book were but it is what it is I appreciate it what it is uh, track 12 DJ Khaled I can't even lie, featuring Future and Nicki Minaj. Let's go. <laughs> First second, and it's already unexpected. I thought it's gonna be like a more chill tune, as uh, DJ Khaled was making those kind of tunes before.
niggas all on my weed and strong on my bitches is bad. These niggas is sad. I said back on that act, I said lower that ghost. Let me get in kind of his. See, I really don't forget. Parking like look like a bull. For sex drive, leave a bean back in the US. No, I am but you crap. Wait, where have you been? <laughs> She's back in the US, but she where you have been. Uh, this track, track 12, uh, I can't even line. Why? Why? Uh, was like the first track which um, was like from his old style, from Khaled's old style, kind of. Uh, so before that track, since track 1 to 11, Khaled was very innovative. Like the sounds, the songs are like very unique in my opinion. Khaled was innovative. He came up with the new styles and with the new sounds, with new songs, you know, like he sampled, of course, uh, track four, uh, Wild Thoughts, we know that, but uh, like by Carlos Santana, but still, you know, like uh, what Rihanna did and what Bryson, Bryson Tiller did, and that track was amazing, and like, it's just so, I, I was grateful, <laughs> the title of that, I was grateful that he actually uh, sampled that song and uh, gave us very passionate, very sexy, uh, very melodic uh, tune, uh, Wild Thoughts, because it was very amazing performance by Rihanna, especially, and Bryson Tiller did his thing as well. And um, like the tracks like Nobody, um, and also It's Secure, you know, like To The Max even, like it was shining, it was dope as fuck. And so I love the fact that Khaled actually like, is giving us really high quality music really high quality music because like before like in his previous albums i'm not talking about major key because major key was good uh the al other older albums like he was still like kind of kind of still like a raw material you know like khaled was um delivering us maybe like anthem for the summer uh, like a great single, right? But like one or two tr great tracks uh, here and there. But his albums consisted of um, very like average tracks. Uh, it was just like some, just like few good tracks. But now like he is elevating his game. He's getting better and better. And like the major key was dope. Grateful is very dope already. And the. Uh, just like this track 12 though like uh, even though it wasn't bad listen it was it was okay it was not bad actually like I like the beat uh, I like uh, the feature and Nicki Minaj performance was okay -ish. Um, but like it was like the first track when he kind of went to like his previous works style style of his previous works and um, I hope that uh, the innovativeness will continue and uh, we will hear less uh, tracks like this because, uh, you know, it didn't really work for him before t uh, he wasn't that great. But now, like, DJ Cal, oh, damn, like, everyone, everyone is, like, uh, excited about DJ Cal because his music got better and he's given us great features, although before he had great features, uh, right? But not so great, but like he didn't have Rihanna or Drake or Beyonce or Jay-Z before, but uh, at least there were great um, artists like Future and, uh, you know, Fat Joe, um, Rick Ross and like uh, Snoop Dogg, you know, still recognizable names. And, uh, but he couldn't give us like amazing tracks now he does <laughs> and I hope he will continue I'm just saying that please don't go back go further track 13 down for life featuring party next door future Travis Scott and probably it's recross yeah recross and Korak black oh shit let's go <laughs> Okay, this is also like from his older style of music, but this one I actually like it more. Uh, well, it was it was decent. It was like it felt long a little bit, uh, but I I have no complaints for the features. They did their thing. Anyway, I've been talking too much. Let's just move on. There's so much more to come. 
uh, Migos for example, Trap 14 Hopefully it's gonna be a banger, let's go Major back alert Okay, okay, okay Okay, okay, okay Best music Bad and bougie da -da 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 bougie Hey <laughs> I like this delivery, yes. Niggas, <laughs> niggas, good job. Like, I really like their uh, delivery, like, what they do. Their chemistry together is very good. Like, take off, offset, and play well. Like, just so, like, so great together, you know? Yes, definitely. I'm into this one, though. <laughs> it's Migos, so, and uh, very passionate song. Wait, what is this? Pusha T and Jeticus? Track 15. Oh. Ooh, lyrics, rappers only <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, man. This is very new. Like the, I love the uh, the sample, the beat, and Pusha T's delivery is just oh my god, so good. Uh, I love also like, I like the laughing. Uh, I think Jadakiss is doing that. Pretty cool, man. It's pretty funny. Enjoy this track a lot, and Jadakiss did his thing as well. Push it, team, my god! Like, re please release a project. I'm really waiting for it. Track 16, Billy Ocean, featuring Fat Joe and Raekwon. <laughs> this gives me like old feel, like old hip hop feel, like you no know, 2000s. That's when Fat Joe was popular, very popular. And, and just like the type of the song really sounds like you know, 2000s. Rap. So cool. Track 17, Pull a Caper, featuring Kodak Black. Yes, once again, <laughs> Gucci Mane and Rick Ross. Let's go. Khaled. I like the feel of it actually, it's, it's pretty cool, I like this one too, very chill but at the same time kind of dope vibe, you know, and Kodak with Gucci Mane is able to create that vibe uh, with his lyrics they add into the, the song even more and it sounds incredible, I like it. Track 18, that Range Rover. <laughs> Came with steps featuring Future and Yo Gotti. Um, it was okay. Meh, meh. <laughs> this is a third track I didn't really dig, but I gotta say, like, we're already on track 19, and it's only three tracks I didn't like. Really, I, and it's not even that I even didn't like, I actually I found them uh, not bad just not really into them right just whatever average tracks so in my opinion grateful is already a success i mean grateful khaled was already able to like stay consistent throughout the whole thing which is impressive really impressive uh but let's just finish the album uh we got like four, four more tracks and um I'm really excited about the asset talk was gonna happen at the end. Uh, also, um, yeah, a couple more tracks I'm interested in. Track 19, Iced Out My Arms, featuring Future once again. Okay, now I'm kind of getting tired <laughs> hearing Future all the time. Uh, Megos 21 Savage and TI. Yeah, Okay. I 
We do not settle for less. Ooh. I'm in the cup with no head. It's the feet. Like it's on counter, we pull out the street and big body. My papa will and cabo sock it. We make the profit and cop it as soon as they drop it. Money falling out of my pocket. Hey. I got the chat on my arm. I got the on the I the I got the I This was unexpectedly hella great for me. I don't even know why, but this song, my god. <laughs> really, like, I didn't expect to dig it so much future Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. this one was like damn and migos complimented to future so well and 21 savage to my uh like uh to my what impression i don't even know how to say it but basically he impressed me as well you know like like really impressed me uh ti well ti is good i mean ti is a good artist even though he kind of vanished from the radar a little bit uh the last years but ti has been always a good rapper so the beat was so like kind of like animalistic and rough cocky in a sense like confident no no, no. <laughs> cocky let's say like um the beat was really like catchy as well like it was like kind of dark but really catchy like i, I loved it like i love that blend um uh, it was very good in my opinion um enjoyed that track track 20 whatever featuring Future <laughs> once again, <laughs> Young Thug, Rick Ross, and Two Chance. Young Thug's, Young Thug's voice is so unique and like I like it. It can be like an instrument, you know, separate instrument. Um, very chill, tr like track, beat, and the uh, performances are quite good actually. I'm, I really like, enjoyed Grateful already. Like so many things happen, like so many good tracks we got out of the th out of this thing, but uh, we got interlude and the track by Mavido and uh, I said talk. Let's finish the album. Uh, Belly um, has a track might not with the weekend, which I really love. Mavido's track on changing love. I like it. <laughs> he decided to finish the album with a uh, very pleasant African uh, Jamaican wives, like beach wives. Nice. I like this one too. Damn, I really dig, dig the whole thing. <laughs> I dig the whole Asad. album. Okay, Asad. Thank you for executive producing. Huh. Grateful. I love you. <laughs> yes, boy. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. <laughs> well, uh, it, it was good, but the last thing, like, yes, boy, yes, boy, was kind of really unnecessary. But, like, I think it should have ended with the, the Assad's uh, laugh. Like, it was cute. And then Khaled kind of ruined it. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, it was still cool. Um, yeah, so we finished the album, like 23 tracks, and I liked 20 tracks out of 23, which is like, damn, like this is really like good achievement of DJ Khaled. He said that we're gonna have like 23 anthems. Well, first of all, I mean, track 23 is just an interval, but anyway, um, like, I love what I heard. I like what DJ Cal did, and um, no complaints at all, Mister <laughs> Mister Cal Cal. Like this was very good, and um, I think pretty sure we can say that this album is gonna be nominated uh, by Grammy for for Grammy uh, one more time. Uh, as Major Key did, and maybe who knows? Uh, depends like who's gonna release what. Uh, DJ Khaled even may win the Grammy. It depends on the sales of the album as well. But just like this time, 
why it has more chances of winning than great uh, major Khaled. <laughs> Sorry, it's 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 late night. Uh, uh, it the grateful has more chances of winning the Grammy than major key, simple for the fact that um. Uh, this thing has Beyonce, has Rihanna, has mainstream appeal of it, right? Like, uh, and DJ Khaled was able to already get so many attention, get so many uh, streams. Just simple out of uh, I'm the one track and uh, Wild Thoughts, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get a lot of attention, a lot of views. Uh, it was trending like uh, number one as well. Uh, wild thoughts to the max not really I don't know why because it's Drake should have been also Like be everywhere kind of but wild thoughts people are loving it and so it's gonna get a lot of streams as well and a lot of views on YouTube uh, Especially with that incredible performance by Rihanna and so uh, shining uh, It didn't get really popular, but still it was an amazing track and so we we have that like uh, criteria, you know, like to make DJ Khaled win the Grammy Award. Although I'm not suggesting that, like, he should be the winner, uh, because there are so many great hip hop artists. But I'm just saying, I'm just telling that he has chances this time. And uh, for the first half of the album, yeah, so it was like more like a kind of mainstream album a little bit right so like it had like alicia keys you know like there was like pop feel into it into the album alicia keys we've got Nicki minaj we have uh, kevin harris on this thing uh from the mainstream pop sphere but then uh after this we go into a uh, kind of second half of the album whoop, whoop, <laughs> where we have uh, just like straight hip-hop album you know like where we have like simply like a hip hop artists uh, which uh, are uh, doing their thing uh, they were they're all well known artists that's what I want to say and uh, it was like straight hip hop album and it was also good a lot of the tracks was good like I didn't like only 12 and 13 because I felt that it was just average but uh, other than that actually um, other tracks kind of impressed me Billy Ocean was also very simple, uh, but uh, at the same time, I just appreciated what it for what it is, you know. Oh, and that Range Rover came with steps. Yet another track that I didn't really like, but uh, again, twenty tracks out of twenty three. This is very good amount. This is incredible. DJ Khaled, well done, and uh, mm, I I love the album. That's what I gotta say. You gotta. I have a lot of tracks to listen to now, and thanks to DJ Kala. Thank you for being here for all this time. You know, this video was long, but I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching again. I, uh, like, not all the time I'm stressing this out, but I want to stress out uh, this time um, the fact that, you know, like, uh, I really, uh, I'm really grateful that. Um, you guys are watching my content you know like we're gonna grow as a channel uh we're gonna get recognized more right now we have like 430 subscribers for, for today uh, as of now but uh hopefully we'll get bigger and even though like there is in terms of like youtube channels i'm not big at all but i just love the fact that already you know like 430 people are watching me this is already like very impressive to me like this is like wow like at the beginning of the year i couldn't even imagine that so thank you very much for uh watching me i hope you like my content um so yeah <laughs> thank you again uh hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to this channel and um yeah <laughs> i will say goodbye in uh in multiple languages пока higher Auf Wiedersehen, Arrivederci, Ciao, Ciao, Adios e Amor. Goodbye. I know it said Nas album done. We the best music. music. But we got one more to do first.